What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video we're talking about how to install Mac apps, specifically Mac apps on Snow Leopard. A lot of new Mac users, especially ones coming from Windows, have trouble understanding how do you install apps onto a Mac. So I'm going to show you the three main ways how to do it with native Mac apps. I'm specifically leaving out two Mac app examples. One is if you install software from a disk, such as Microsoft Office, and two non-native Mac apps, such as Adobe Air apps like TweetDeck. Both of those are pretty straightforward, but for this video I want to keep it short and do only native Mac apps. The first method is what you might call the traditional or classic method. That's where, let me bring up example Firefox. Bring it up. There we go. As you can see here, all there is is the app and the applications folder. Sometimes, depending on the application, for example, Rockmelt might leave the app in whatever folder you downloaded the file to. So your desktop, your downloads folder. Anyway, the only thing you need to do here is just drag the icon into the applications folder. Or if it's in your doc, you can just drag it down there. Either way will work. Technically, you could drag the app anywhere you want into the applications folder, the doc, the desktop, etc. But you don't necessarily need to do this. I prefer to put in the applications folder just because it keeps everything nice and organized. The second method is a little bit more Windows similar, or it's similar to Windows anyway. So I have an app called XQuartz here. It comes in a package folder. All I'm going to do is just click on it and it brings up this window which basically just looks like you know, the little step-by-step -step window you see in Windows. All you have to do is click continue read the disclaimer information, etc. License, and I'm going to hit agree for this. And it'll ask you generally where you want to put it sometimes. Otherwise, this one is just going to be a text bubble. And then you hit install. I already have installed, so I'm not going to do it. But then you see a window running the install, and it would look a lot like Windows. The third method is specifically Snow Leopard and above. And that's the Mac App Store. Apple has their own store, of course, just like on iOS, where you can download Mac apps. All of these have been screened by Apple and approved. The one downside is that updates can be kind of slow. For example, the Apple web browser is in the Mac app store, but it's a couple versions behind the one that Opera itself offers on its website. But anyway, I'm here in the free social section. You can find it if I go back to categories. And I'm going to hit social networking just to show you. And I went down, you see a lot of apps here. I'm going to go down specifically to free. So, if there was an app I wanted, let's say, let's say I want Relay to Me. I like, I'd like to see what this is. And it looks like a Relay chat discussion, chat room, excuse me. So, if I wanted to download it, I can look at some pictures here. Look at some reviews if there were any, it's kind of new. All I'd hit was the button and then install app as a confirmation as you can see I have to enter my password and if this was a paid app it would have to have some kind of credit card information for me to uh, enter in and confirm to pay from anyway and then it would drag it to the dock and install of course then it'd be in your application folder as well but it makes a nice little dock shortcut just in case you want it and you can reorganize that as you want. Anyway, those are the three main ways to install apps on Snow Leopard and higher. This is EasyOSX, and thank you for watching. Be sure to check me out more at easyosx.wordpress.com and on Twitter at EasyOSX. Thanks again.